eternally grateful to God. First, known unto God eyes works from eternity. Two, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Again, it was a friend who introduced me to LBCU. I didn't even tell you this story. Now, eventually I was kicked out of Baptist Church. Uh, <laughs> and the reason I was kicked out, out of Baptist Church was when I was preaching as youth pastor, I burst into tongues and began to pray in the Holy Spirit on a Sunday morning before the whole church. Rama and I've forgotten where I was. It was my friend, uh, Abimbola Olofo, who now professor of law in one of the universities in the UK, who ministered baptism in the Holy Spirit to me on January 17, 1978, on top of Mariri Hall at about 1.17, 1 1.20 a.m. I remember clearly like yesterday, Olofo Iku is alive to testify. He had given me Joel Austin's book to read on how to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, and he ministered baptism in the Holy Spirit to me. But I carried it to a place where it was not valued. So while I was uh, having experience with the Holy Spirit was when uh, Mrs. Bola Dewali, now Bola Dewali, invited me to the Deeper Life uh, Bible study, Monday Bible study in 1978. And I stayed with them until 1983. I'd already transferred to First Square Gospel from campus days to First Square under the leadership of Dr. Samuel Odunaike when Brakumuyi invited a few of us to be part of the leadership when they were moving to Bagada. And I served as a legal person to them. I registered some of their companies today, Life Tips Limited and Zoe Publishing, um, uh, Publishing Company Limited. I registered those two companies. And I ministered alongside with him. I learned faith and holiness. Look, I do not know how my life would have turned, but for the foundation of fear of God and holiness that Brokumi laid in our hearts. He was a very systematic teacher of the world. Brokumi would take it step by step in a systematic manner that you see the difference between hell and heaven while he was preaching. I'm eternally grateful to him. And many years after, he later came to me and, and said to me, look, I will want battery and deeper life to come together. You lead it, I back you up. I lead it, you back me up. Uh, but I ran for my life for reasons I'm not willing uh, to, to uh, go into here right now. But I thank God for the foundation of holiness and fear of God. It was, it was there that I learned without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. But there's a second side to that. Without faith, no man can please God. That I learned from Pastor Adeboye. Wow. Yeah, talking about Pastor Adeboye. I spent five years a deeper life. And wow. My wife then, my fiance, was, uh, uh, was with me a deeper life. And what a, what a time. Those are dedicated men. I remember Brakumu selling his car in order to print tracks to send to Ghana. But, and he was coming to fellowship on a bike that was going to carry him. Uh, those were men who, who laid down their lives for God. And their prosperity today does not come as a surprise to me at all. In 1983, December, I had a vision and I will tell you what preceded this vision. I was preaching at Deeper Line. I was teaching a seminar because some of our Igbo sisters who are married were going through torture anytime their husband would die. Wow. Issues of will, issues of these things. It, it, was, it was just rampant then. And after a session with leadership, uh, WF Kumui asked me to do some training on the law and the Christian in a lawless age. Uh, I still have a collection of those messages if they didn't burn with fire in my former house. Um, and that was the teaching I was doing when I got to a point and I said, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I gave an illustration. Brakumi was behind me. Brother Shalal Yegun was in my interpreter on the right. And I said, faith comes by hearing 
And I say, hearing there does not just mean hearing this, because I can sing in French. And, and I did. I sang in French. I said, did you hear that? They said, no. I said, are you deaf? Then they realized that faith comes by understanding the word of God. And I went to Luke 24, 45. Then open their understanding Sorry. that they might understand the scripture. But when I gave the illustration, faith comes by hearing that you can go to, you can watch television and you will see joy, joy soap. It was a, an important advertisement for joy soap and that joy, joy soap, because you have been hearing about it. When you get to store, you see joy soap, you pick it. Now, it is because of what you have been hearing. My interpreter said, if you have been looking at the devil's box, and I corrected him. I said, I didn't say Akocheshu. I said, television. And he repeated Akocheshu. Bro was behind me. I said, no, it's television. It's useful. And the following Sunday, Bro wrote what we call the sundry exhortation. And wrote there that even if you repair television, you are a child of the devil. So I told him time off. I took my Bible and I went to him. Relay the vision that God had showed to me, and I said, I'm living in peace. So I left. Remember, my story had been living <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so I sat in my house, JJ and brother Oyego, and the older brother of Steve Akela in Puerto Rico were delegated to come and bring me back. And I said, I wasn't going to come back. And one day, bro sent for me, and I went. And he said, well, maybe you'll attend my funeral. I said, no, I'm not. You will not die, but I'm not coming back. 